YouTube, what's going on? Horse Racing Gamer here. Welcome back to Gallup Racer 2003. <clears throat> well, objective today is to obviously win, as it always is. Frugal Art shall be kicking us off here in the Sprinters Cup. Oh, uh, shall we be worried? I mean, it's a couple of good horses, but I, I think we can beat these horses. Uh, we're going for that Sprinter's Champ title with her. I think she's only got two wins towards it. Yeah, I think she only has two wins towards it, so it's been a grind, to say the least. I mean, she's not like a Sprinter horse like that, but she has good enough speed in the right situations to, you know, make herself a problem. And, um... Yeah, just kind of got to get her there. I got to make sure, obviously, I, I put her in the best position to take advantage. And the thing is, she's not a horse that's going to come from behind and win. Um, necessarily, she's definitely a horse. You, you have to get her out in front of everybody by the time you hit turn four. And then if you're in good position there and she's feeling good, could be an okay... Uh, conclusion now not a good start here so that doesn't help and especially in these sprints we really need good starts man we really really do um because obviously field positioning is so important but fortunately frugal is very good at getting to the front in a hurry if she needs to you know like she doesn't take forever to get up to the front if i can let her know what she needs to be doing she does pretty well at that i'm gonna go ahead and switch my lip whip pan to the right gotta get under the whip now Hey, has been trying to block us. Not happening. But she's got a good run. She's got plenty of stamina. Furlong and a half left to go. Can Frugal Lark do this and win the Sprinter's title? Or Sprinter's Cup here? She's going to. I didn't think we had really any reason to be worried about any of the horses in the field. The 10 is coming on a late surge. Come on, Frugal, hanging in there. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like I said, if I put her in the right position at the right time, and granted, I still felt like I kind of misjudge the uh, the stretch there a little bit we we hold on to get the win and it's a third grade one at this distance for frugal and that's just what i have on paper so um it's another grade one for her as well i don't know if that's 20 or 21 but frugal arc is doing amazing i don't i've never won as many grade ones as i have with uh a horse like her as far as um the phillies and mares are concerned yeah, Rob the Cook was flying up on us, but they're still going to give me good for most of that field positioning and stretch. Wow. But again, it's just proof. You know, if I can run her right, then I think she's capable of winning a lot of races that the game would say she, you know, uh, may not have the best chance of winning. Granted, they gave her third, so they gave her, they were giving her favoritism, but, you know, usually they don't put her as, like, the favorite. Anyways, moving on to Suave Master, who's been doing much better than spinning post. And Suave is up in the London Mile. This is part of the GWS Sprint, I believe. I think she's... It's been it's been a week or two since I played, and mine's just kind of a blur. I know we did... Um, She has points and I think, the Sprint. I do remember that. They're not giving her much chance, but, I mean, Whirlwind is here. Secret World, Diamond Plan, Wonder Whale. Like, she's running against some of the fastest horses in the game at this distance. So, it's just like, come on, man. And granted, these horses can also run longer. They're just running eight furlongs. So, as much as I like Suave, I mean, she's not a Diamond Plan, Wonder Whale, or Whirlwind. Like, what are the odds? Like, they're all... I'm we're racing against all of them at the same time. I just... That's never happened in this playthrough. Not all three of them. Oh, either way, we're still going to try our best to uh, win or get some points. And I hope one of them gets blocked, mainly Whirlwind, because that's the horse we got to. I, I just, that's the horse we got to beat. But I, I cannot believe Diamond Plant, Wonder Whale. Like, how are they going to put all these horses in the same race with us in the GWS? Like, we don't have our super horse yet. Obviously, we're not going to probably beat them unless we get lucky. Not a good start, but we don't need it with Suave. Like whirlwind, deep one, or uh, excuse me, whirlwind, wonder whale, and diamond plan. Not deep wonder, but diamond plan are all here. Like, unbelievable, bro. Who's a favorite though? Where's whirlwind? 
Like, doesn't even make sense. All the best horses, at least, for um, this pr these particular races. What's she upset about, bro? You're where you want to be. We're fine. Alright, you're complete. You're fine. I don't know how this is going to go. I think i got to get her rolling now. Okay, she is going to get a spurt, though. We actually have a really good run on the competition. Of course, Whirlwind is taken off on the field. Shocker. Whirlwind is taken off. She's fighting strong. She's fighting strong here in the closing closing stages. But, gosh, look at Whirlwind. Is, why? How is this fair, bro? I don't have a horse to beat him yet. <laughs> like, that dude is miles ahead. I'm over it. Next race. Next event. Get us out of here. <laughs> Get us out of here, man. Like... They finish 1-2-3. Whirlwind beats Diamond Planet and Wonder Whale by six lengths. Like, oh my gosh. Talk about crappy luck, man. Winning the sprint is going to be virtually impossible. That's no shade to, you know, Suave Master. It's just she's not those horses. So, it's not going to happen. And Frugal's already won what she's needed to win. There's no reason to run her against them. So, it's like... <sighs> like, Wonder Whale's taking off now. Even though Whirlwind obviously won that last race, but Wonder Whale didn't realize he was uh, that far ahead. So, looks like no GWS for anybody this year. Really. It's kind of disappointing. But again, you know, I'm more focused on just retiring Suave for her power rating and speed and really most of her decent stats. I mean, the guts rating is good, the power and the speed. Those are fantastic. That's all I really want. You guys know me. Of course, I want to build stamina. That way... Or horses don't tire. But, um... Yeah. So, um... Sorry, I was seeing if there was a high-speed chase going past my house, and I think there was for a second. Anywho, um... Yeah, so, like, Suave, to me, her not winning a GWS isn't going to bother me. Same for spinning posts. Frugal, like I said, she's already got several titles. Eight, I think. Let's check. Eight titles for Frugal. Oh, six. I, I wish it be yeah, a six. And um, she won the GWS sprint as well. So that also lets you know. There's no reason for her to run that again. Um, so wait, 19 gray ones. I thought she hit 20. So 19. Still good, man. So close to 20. Anyways, uh, we're going to keep her in the sprints for now. Because, again, I'm trying to get her that title. Uh... This doesn't count, does it? No. Is there anything for you to do, Frugal? Not really. These dirt races would kind of be a waste of time. It's a problem, man. The sprints are in such a short window, and like if you don't run in all of them, you just kind of have to wait out. So, uh, let me think. What other titles could we be working on? Oh, I was. Wait, does she, does she have the mid champ? Did not want to go there. Sorry. I need to see if she has the mid champ title because she does. So she is she doesn't have long champ. And for some reason I've kept her away from like twelve furlongs, even though she can run twelve. <laughs> I that's that's actually kinda interesting. Um only other title we could go for is a long champ. Since there's like no more sprinting G ones for us. Fifteen and a half? I mean is she gonna like what's her stamina at now actually? 66, yeah. I'm at 15 and a half. That's asking for way too much. 66, so I still gotta be reasonable with whatever I decide to put her in. World Turf Cup? I mean, no. Empress Cup? No. Ugh. Gosh, there's like... Does this count? No, this is still mid-champ. She needs something 12 or longer for a launch champ, which would be the Continental. And, um, I guess we put her in that. So, Suave, uh, you're still fine. Only two grade one wins, though. It's still hard to say if she's peaked or if, or not. Like, I, I can't tell. Um, are there even any more sprints for her to still do? Seven furlongs? Does that count for the sprint window? 
Oh, let's just wait till she's in the blue. Actually, no, we're going to run her in the World Mile Cup. I mean, we already know Whirlwind, all those horses are going to be there. But I think this is good experience for Suave to be running against these horses. And I got to keep her there because all it takes is one lucky race and us winning would be big for her. And spinning post is like developing at like the slowest rate. So I'm just kind of whatever. Three wins and 11 starts compared to Suave, who we have, well, four wins and 11 starts. Wow, why does it feel like it's so different? Four wins, two great ones for Suave. And then three wins and two great ones for spinning. It just feels like I've just, it just, I've dropped the ball with spinning post. I did not feel like their records are the same. Spinning post, we're going to go ahead and toss her in the world. To... Let's just do the Philly Amer Cup. There's no reason for her to run the World Turf Cup. I don't have faith she will. She's not in the GWS hunt. And Toxic Waters, I think he's ready to go. The fact that his stamina is higher than his speed, this is the first horse thing we've ever gotten in this game, finally, with higher stamina than speed. Um, yeah, I'm really excited. This guy's uh, three for three. <laughs> From Social Brandy out of Vista Pool. Should be an absolute monster once he hits his peak. Is he already in a race? He is. Okay, so I think we're good. Yep, so busy October. And then we'll see what November is looking like. No idea how long this episode is going to be because I plan on recording the 200th episode for 2004. I plan on it. It's already kind of late. It's not 2 a.m. yet, but it's midnight. Been tired, but... I might get a second wind, so we'll see. Anyways, Toxic Water's up in a grade, too. I decided to move him up in class, really see what he's capable of. They're giving him favoritism, and I don't see why not, because he's been on an absolute roll. Really, really easy to work with. And, um, again, he's got the stamina. I can really take off with him pretty early, and he's not going to tire out. Long distance horse. And there's the same chase. Crazy stuff. Anyways, let's get back into it. Just had to make sure everything's okay. I've seen some crazy stuff happen. You'd be surprised. <laughs> All right. And we're off. So, not the best start for Toxic, but it's good enough. It's so weird that he has virtually every triangle a little bit shaded except for, like, the Proceeder one. Or not Proceeder, but, like, the mid-pack position. It's kind of interesting to me. Like, I could run him Proceeder, which is his preferred position. I could run him as a front runner. I could run him as a closer... But I couldn't run him in mid-pack. Like, what? Like, the game will say bad if I were to put him, like, in that wrong spot at the mid-pack point back there. Like, that's really weird. So he needs to be either leading, he needs to be behind, or he needs to be with the leaders. It's just Gallup Racer just putting random things on my horses. Like, it doesn't even really make sense. Okay. Gotta get him rolling now. He's got the stamina. Let's go, my boy. Every time he runs off of these turns, man, I feel like it's so much speed and power. Look at this performance from Toxic Waters in a grade two. Our boy is about to be four for four on his maiden debut. Pfft, oh, man. This horse is... Yes! We finally, I think, are going to get our first... This is going to be the start of our first super horse, and there's many more to come. We finally have strong parents back there, and we're getting stronger. Wait till we add Frugal Lark. Wait till we add Suave Master. Ah, oh, this dude is a blast already. I love it. This horse really feels like the best of Social Brandy and East of Pool so far. Wins by four lanes over Shaken Unicorn. Stuck on that. Toxic Waters is four for four. He's so strong, man. Honestly, he's so strong in the stretch. And he just takes off, and then he's just able to keep that up. Talk about stamina, man. I'm so glad we got social brandy. And East of Pool was a big, big, big grab. I keep talking about it. Her and Frugal Art both have been. We desperately needed East of Pool to at least get us going. And uh, Toxic Waters, 4 for 4 is our boy. Undefeated. There he is. Man, I am so happy about that. We need that, desperately. We've had a lot of struggles. We've gotten no girls for like 20 decades in this game. So we need some good hope and inspiration from a new 
new two-year-old that could potentially be our first real original super horse in this game because we just haven't gotten there yet. We've had good horses, obviously, with Honeybee, Perfect Dart, Paracosm, but they weren't super horses, you know what I mean? They were just really good at what they were good at, which was the Dirt for Paracosm. Um, Honeybee was, what, the Sprint? Same with Perfect Dart for the most part. Neither of them had the stamina to run long. So, like, they excelled at that, but they weren't super horses. Like, Toxic Waters, if his stats continue to improve, he could turn out to be a first real super horse for us in this series, so... More good things coming finally. Anyways, World Mile Cup. Only Wonder Whales here. Only Wonder Whales here. And, like, the favorite is... Well, Diamond Plan. Okay. I feel a little bit better. With the, with the world win in this race, I just feel like nobody has a chance. And we see it every time that horse is gone by six or seven lengths in front. Diamond Plan or Wonder Whale, as good as they are, we have a chance if one of them gets held up or, you know, whatever. So, I feel much better. I mean, I would rather be facing these two than face any combination involving whirlwind like i don't have the horse to beat him yet the original we have beaten whirlwind obviously i think who have you probably beaten him with vivid i don't know if we've beaten him with i think we may have beaten him with vivid legend we've beaten most of the the horses that we've raced against more than once i just can't really recall who but none with our originals there's either been vivid legend crimson art social brandy horses like that um so we haven't gotten to that point with our originals yet but anyways we're off and we're running here with suave master in the world turf cup it's eight furlongs it is going to be basically a sprint at a mile and um yeah it's gonna make sure we can make this work yeah post position 13 look how wide we're running bro Oh my goodness, just sapping all of my girl's strength out. This is not cool, dude. Awful draw. Nothing I can do about that. Now I just gotta hopefully just hope that she's um strong enough to still hold on and I wanna get her to the inside. Wait, oh inside's gonna open up. No gosh. Are you kidding me, dude? You move they moved out, moved back in. Really thought the inside was gonna be open for a second. Uh no, we're held up. Just waiting for the inside to clear, but obviously not happening. Ah, I can't move. Could not move, man. Could not move. She was just blocked. Nothing was happening. That ruined our momentum so much, man. Ah, I could have swung her outside, but I was just hoping the inside was going to free up for us. That's, she could have finished so much better than that. We got blocked. Her momentum was completely ruined. Ugh. That's my fault. That's my fault. I had her out of position. Oh, what a waste of a race, man. Seventh. She could have finished way better than that, but gosh dang it. Yeah. We also got screwed with the post position. Like, they give me such bad draws in this game. A lot. If you guys have paid attention, we always are getting, like, 10 or higher. And when I say higher, I mean, like, 10, 11, 12 higher. Like, especially in this game, it's so much harder to run on the turns compared to 2004. You see how long it took us. Oh, it's frustrating. Speaking post, she's up in the World Philly Mayor Turf Cup. Uh, nobody really has a chance in this race except for Famous Piston and Irish Fleet. And Irish Fleet, well, we know all about her from 2004. She's given us some of our best horses over there. So, yeah, tough task, tough ask for Spinning Post. Gosh, that's so annoying. I really wanted to see what Swab could have done in that race. But I had her out of position. Um, I, I could have ran her on the outside, risked wasting a little bit more of her stamina but at least she would have had a clear chance that's the one time where i go against my better judgment just to try to be greedy and get the inside and then you see what happens it just every every time i try to shoot a gap the ai just moved at the last second like it was yeah it's just the movement in here is not like in 2004 right it's harder to get out of those jams if you get stuck and that's really what happened we got stuck great start for spinning post that's ideal she's got a lead anyway so but look at this draw look how wide it's taking us man this is what i mean these bad draws are screwing us now slow down please spinning slow down slow down slow down i just wanted you to get to the front i didn't want you to run 200 miles an hour now Now, she does have... Oh, she should be okay. All right. Now, if we can hold on to this lead and time our spurt, 
Uh, it's gonna be tough. I don't. I don't know. We'll see. Where's Irish Fleet? Come on, get up there. Her feel is so quiet, so quirky, man. Like she's never really comfortable. That's one thing I, I, uh, I do not like with working with her. She's never comfortable, man. I have to constantly adjust her. I like to just kind of just ride out and not have to adjust too much, but with her, it's just like trying to find that window. She's just never satisfied, so. And I, I know people have had success with her. I'm just, she doesn't work for my riding style. Well, let's see. She's hugging the rail here. Could you imagine? Come on, spinning. Hold on. You could win a big race here on a big stage. Hold on, spinning. 14 is going to get her at the end, isn't it? Yep. Ah, wow. What an effort, though. What a freaking effort. I mean, my gosh. Is that Famous Piston? This is a track where you really have to hug the inside as tight as we did because that's what it gets you. Put your horse in a position to possibly win a race that they really had no business being close to. She's supposed to finish fourth, though. Wow. Famous so we set a record. That's a fast Philly and Mare Turf Cup. If we, if Famous Piston sets the record and only beats us by three quarters of a length, that means we were flying. <laughs> wow. We didn't win, but I got to say, that is a great effort from Spinning Post, actually, despite the fact that she never really settled in like I would have wanted. That's, that's solid, man. At least that's progress, because we have been kind of just on a really bad slope. And to finish second in a big race like that against... Some of the best fillies and mares at that point. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Yeah, Swab, she's done for the sprint. Even fan like, why do they put all the best horses in my game at like the same time? Like they've always spread them out, right? We'll hit, get Wonder Whale for a couple of years, then Whirlwind will come in, then Diamond Plant, whatever. And this time around, there's like, no, you're gonna run against all of them at the same time. And they're going to be around for a couple of years. So, like, this is... it. The GWS is going to be really tough moving forward. That's why I'm really glad we got Toxic toxic Water here, who I think will be able to pose a challenge, hopefully at some point. And then Twin Sun, which, let's go look at him. Because we're going to be running against them for a couple more years. I don't know... I'll check to see who's closest to retirement, but... Uh, anyways. Twin Sun, almost a five-star horse already. From mad courage out of honeybee. This guy is going to be lightning fast. This is, Now, this could also be a real super horse with lightning fast speed. And you see honeybee's pedigree, Scotch Dancer, she was really fast. Crimson Art was just really strong. Honeybee really inherited her mother's uh, closing speed. And then you combine that with mad courage. An actual speed demon, basically. Twin Sun, so excited, man. This dude is going to be a blast. I just feel it. And then we have Lightning Flash here. Developing nicely. Another one from Mad Courage with Catch This Gal. We should get a very fast horse with consistent stats across the board. Um, so far, not even one years old yet. And already four stars. So, guys, we're finally here in this game. Now we're going to get our super horses rolling through. And, of course, I just want a filly to pop up eventually. But, again, when it does, when she does, we'll, we'll jump and enjoy there. Not going to expect it anymore because... The RNG or however it's determining my Colts and Phillies, it's basically giving it like 99.2% chance of Colts will be born and then the other percentage is Phillies. It's not impossible because, again, I proved it uh, when I did offline stuff, but like the percentage must be ridiculously low. And it's so weird because like we were getting Phillies for a while in the beginning. Now it's just like, nope. So let's see. Um, Diamond Plan is two years old. That's freaking fantastic. So, again, he's somebody we're going to have to compete against for the next however many years. Whirlwind is only three. Diamond Plan is only three. Vivid Legend. God, they've put so many good horses in our game at one time, in, in our season at one time. They always spread them out. They've always spread these horses out. To have Whirlwind, Diamond Plan, Vivid Legend. Wonder Whale, how old is he? I think he's old. Wonder Whale's only four? Like, these guys are still going to be around for a while, man. But you know what? It's perfect timing. It's almost like the game senses my horse is getting better, and it's like, oh, yeah, now we're really going to start putting you through the grinder, which I'm all for. I'm all for going through the grinder if it means, you know, we achieve what we need to achieve. But my goodness, like, 
It's not even like a subtle adjustment. It's just like, oh, yep, here they are. Some of the best horses in the game that you can race against so far. Just run against them all. Got to put him in the Young Crown, uh, young crown Cup. Unless he can run... Could he run overseas? Is there anything acceptable? No. All right. Mm, yeah, well... Young Crown Cup. He, young Crown Cup, if I can speak correctly. He wins that. He should win Best 2-Year-Old Colt of the Year. Frugal, you're already in a race. Suave, I don't even know what to do with you. We just need to win Grade 1s. Um, what's her stamina? 62. Okay. So they both have eh, stam. So, Suave, let's get you... Hmm. Long Beach Turf Cup. Uh, it's kind of long. Neptune sounds a lot better. Yes. Spinning posts. Hmm. Uh, let's see. Long Beach Derby. I just... I'm still trying to give Spinning Post a chance. It's just like, ugh. I'm actually going to run her in the China Mile. Let's see how she does in a sprint. I think that's what she needs more anyways. Like, her feel is slightly getting better, but she's, her stats have barely moved. What type of average growth type does she have? Like, it this for it to be average and she's almost four, like, her stats have barely moved. That's just so weird to me, you know? Like, that to me would make it seem like maybe she's sustained or late or something, but not average when it's like you're not seeing really any real progress. And granted, I know our results haven't been the best, but still, we've been consistent. Out of her 12 races, from what we can see on screen, she's finished in the top 8 out of her 12 finishes. Um, or she finished in the top 3, excuse me. 8 out of 12 times. She's got two grade 1s. We've done a lot worse, and we've seen our horse's stats improve much faster. So I don't think our performance is why her stats aren't improving. Aren't improving, But it's just really slow. I don't know what to make of it. I don't want to give up on her yet, but I'm also kind of over trying to figure it out because... Unless she really turns into a monster horse that I think we can work with soon. Like, I'm just kind of wasting time, you know. And we want to do breeding next year again, so uh, we need a spot. Which we'll probably have one if I retire Frugal Art before then. Or at that point, which I probably will. So she's up in the Continental Cup. 12 furlongs. Even fans here. Deep wonder. Yeah, some of the big boys. Um, I'm not worried. They've put her right in the mix with most of these... Uh, good horses in the field so i would say it's a coin toss see if we run a perfect race with her and if we do then i think we'll have a chance it's a day for so it's been an awesome time with frugal man awesome time now i would feel a lot confident putting her in that in the dream cup series obviously over east of pool I'm not saying we're gonna win but I, I would feel a lot better using frugal lark for sure a lot better. Um, and obviously she's better than East to pull because she's actually double S in this game. Felt like they put her to S in 2004, but I could be thinking about another horse. They've certainly nerfed her a bit from the beginning of the series, but she's actually really strong in this game. I'm kind of surprised. Because she was one of the best in 2000, or uh, the first Gout Racer, obviously, for the Phillies and the Mares. And then 2001, like, she's... I can't really say yet. I haven't really raced with her, but racing against her, I mean, yeah, she still seems to be pretty decent. And um, 2004, again, I just feel like she's not what she was in, the, in you know, this game or Galbracer 3. In 2001, like I said, I, I'm not sure, but yeah, it's just, uh, it's interesting how that's, how that happened for her, but we need to, um... I would like to get this win. I mean, she's already achieved enough, at least for what it's worth. I really wasn't expecting to win 20 great ones with her. I thought we were going to win about 10 because that's why I was averaging. It's like, no. Actually, like, can approach 20. Approaching 20. I think, I mean, if she wins this, I think it'll be 20. But six titles, you know, I would like that to be more. But she she's achieved much more than I thought she would. 
So I think she'll be perfect for us back in the breeding barn. And I'm okay with retiring her whenever, when she's seven. Now, one of you guys have got to freaking move. Thank you. Let's go. Don't block me. Go through the gap. Let's go, Frugal. All right, let's run. It's a horse race now. It is a horse race. Look at the grit, man. This is what I'm talking about with Frugal Lark. But look on the outside. Oh, wow. It's just a swarm of horses when I thought we had a chance. A swarm of horses just all of a sudden just got like a second win and floored past us. She's going to finish seventh. Yikes. It was looking really good, and then those horses just kind of took off on us. That's demoralizing. Supposed to finish six, so one spot lower. Yeah. I'm saying I could have done better on the stretch. I'm sure I could have. It was just kind of a whatever type of thing, but I think, I mean, we needed to be much further ahead. Like, I didn't think I did that very well in that race, but my gosh. Those horses took off on us. That, that almost seemed like that just wasn't going to be a winnable race for us, but her stats are still so good, bro. I mean, when I say so good, I mean so good considering she's well past her peak. I mean, 94 guts, man. We can still win with her. That's also kind of why like, I'm not in a rush to retire her, even though I could at any moment. But it's like she's still very strong. And it's like... If I can continue to win as much as we can with her, I think we should. But it depends if I think we're working towards titles. Otherwise, what am I doing? Just stacking grade ones for the sake of stacking grade ones? There's no metric on how many you need to win in order to give your horse a certain rating. I've seen people talk about it in forums, but nobody really knows. Like, people have reported different things and have gotten the same results. Spiritual Wolf. Love the name of that horse. Of course, you guys know. I love my wolves, but... Swab Master, she has a good chance here in the Neptune, so let's see if we can get it done. But yeah, like... Anyways. You guys get it. I just, uh, I don't really feel like... She's still so fun to ride with, man. She really is an enjoyable horse. Like I said, as a kid, I always respected that she was one of the best horses in the game, and I loved competing against her. Now using her, it's it's... It's a cool feeling, man. So I just want to continue to enjoy that because she's still strong enough. And speaking of her, she's had the record here. She's still strong enough to win. So, um, yeah, we'll see, though. We'll see. I mean, I may change my mind when we get to breeding next year and be like, you know what? I kind of want to get Frugal Lark in there now. And that might be the better choice if we want to get stronger horses sooner as opposed to later. Because that's kind of the trade-off. Like, if I keep racing her past seven for one more year as an eight-year-old, I think, right? Um, you know, I basically have to put off getting even stronger foals for a couple of years. But if I retire her before next year's breeding in April, then, obviously, we don't have to wait an extra year. In fact, we can probably use her ASAP, you know? Because I think our best broodmare back there now is East of Pool, so... Frugal will replace Catch This Gal more than likely. And, uh, yeah, we can use, we can breed Frugal with Social Brandy or Mad Courage, whomever. And getting blocked again with Suave, but that's kind of my fault. But she's got space now. Let's see if she can, she's got plenty of stamina. Can she catch these horses, though? Ah, got blocked too much. This is asking way too much. Suave is a good horse, but she's not going to get there in time. To be honest, I was too busy talking about what to do with Frugal and kind of fell asleep in that one. And that's sixth. Yeah. Could have been so much better. I was not paying attention, I'll be honest with you guys. Yeah, I'm supposed to finish third. Drop the ball. That's a bad one. Ugh, that's my fault. <sighs> yeah. That is my bad. I guess I'm just saying I'll... I would love to still keep racing with Frugal, but I guess when I think about it for the long-term plan, it, it's smarter to retire her next year. We can use her for breeding. Dang. Sorry, Suave. That's ah, my fault. There's no real, there's no excuse for me to do badly on that one, but you know what? I'm going to run her in the China Cup. I know running her back-to-back -back is pretty tough, but let's see what she's made of, man. And let me actually try to focus this time. Um, 
frugal. I mean, like, has she won on the dirt before? I wonder. I don't have anything. Oh, she did win eight furlongs on the dirt. Let's put her in the Tokyo Cup for the heck of it. All right. Well, busy uh, end to the year. Two uh, G1s in China, one in Tokyo, and the Young Crown Cup for our two year old. Let's see how we close out the year. Jeff definitely dropped the ball a couple of times, and I need to improve on that. Anyways, Toxic Waters, he's up in the Young Crown Cup. So they're giving our boy favoritism as they should. It's pretty freaking sweet. Uh, so I'm just going to keep running him. I've been running him. Let's try to get him his first grade one and to continue his undefeated streak at 5 and 0. Oh. There he is from Social Brandy out of East of Pool. Toxic Waters hits the track again. Oh, let's get this done, my boy. I have faith in you. Genuinely, I do. Very good temper. Let's rock and roll. We're off in the Young Crown Cup. Let's go ahead and try to push this dude to the front. And then eventually get him ready to settle in. This is pretty ideal. It's our race to win, man. This is our race to win. I'm not worried about any horses in this field at all. This guy is special. I can feel it. And we're going to see it happen. We're seeing it happen right now. But in terms of it really breaking open, I think he's going to have a really strong three-year-old campaign. And I'm definitely going to put him in the GWS if I can. Um, probably the sprint, ideally. I mean, no. I Actually, maybe the... It, it depends on where his stats are. The turf is going to require more stamina. If his stamina... Well, I mean, it's already at 73. What am I saying? Yeah, we'll put him in the turf. All right, let's roll. One left tap. Not worried. Not worried. Not worried at all. Toxic Waters is the real deal. 5-0, and oh, undefeated, wins the Young Crown Cup. That's our boy. That's our boy right there. Let's go. This horse is... Ah! So happy, man. You guys don't understand. So happy. We finally have him. Wait, when's the last time we won this many races with an original in this particular game? In 2003. This, is, this has never happened. We've never done this with any of our originals. We're 5-for-5 five five with this guy in a grade 1. There's good things ahead for Toxic Waters. <laughs> oh, I love it, man. Toxic Waters shaking the Gallup Racer universe, the world, the whatever the heck you want to call it. And that guy's in the zone when he's out there on the track. That's what I love. That's what I feel. Very strong. You guys know I love the strong horses. And then once he takes off, he's gone, man. He really does, like, send it. Like, he knows how to turn that gear extremely quickly. And then once he does, it's just like... He's able to maintain it. He's got the stamina and the endurance. That is that is awesome. That is, like, my favorite type of horse, man. I've talked about it in this series a lot, and especially in 2004 as well. Those are my favorite type of horses. So, we'll finish the year B. Ranked but 5-5 five and five with a grade 1. Definitely getting 2-year-old of the year. That is... Sweet, man. Let's go. Three more races. Let's knock these out. Hope you guys have enjoyed today. I think I've dropped, what, two races? But for the most part, we've done what we needed to. But, you know, spinning post, switching gear. She's up. China Mile, she's she's in the blue. Wonder Whale's here. Still giving spinning post decent favoritism. Oh, let's see how this goes. I mean, she almost won that World Turf Cup. I mean, that World Philly and Mare uh, Turf Cup. That was a really good race. We set the record with Famous Piston. She almost won that. So, what I learned is I really just got to make sure I keep her gate the wire, tucked to the rail as tightly as possible, wait a little bit to get her going in the stretch, manage her stamina, and see if she lasts. That. It's the only problem. If her stats were better, her stamina would be better. She's only losing these close races because she's tiring out at the end. But I'm, like, running her as conservatively as possible. Don't get it twisted. I'm not overrunning her. Like, I know when I'm overrunning my horses sometimes and why it affects them. I'm not overrunning her. I'm running her 
as conservatively as I can. And, like, she's still just tiring out in, like, the last half furlong of the race. There's really... I mean, that's out, that's out of my control. Stop blocking me. Uh, gotta get to the front, my girl. Come on. Hustle, 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 hustle. I know, I know. Okay. Man, they're really pushing the pace. Who is this? Local Swallow and Special Line. Do either of you even have a chance today? Genuinely. Let's see. Y'all are really pushing the pace. I'm not a fan. Yeah, I'm going to put my butt right in your face. I want the rail. I feel like we're going to get caught, bro. Somebody's just going to run up on us. Yep. There's the 11. There's the 14. The rest of the field. I forgot. She has a terrible heart rating, too. So, like, guts rating. So, yeah. I'm kind of overspinning post, guys. I'm not going to lie. This is... I'm not saying she's a bad horse. She just doesn't work with my riding style. You see it clearly. Doesn't work. I can't do it. Seventh, tenth, yeah, I'm over it. Her stats aren't improving. Like, I'm really not curious to wait to see. Like, she's only S ranked. I'll, you know, we'll, uh, we'll be all right. You know, we got Toxic Water now. Toxic Waters. I don't know why I keep wanting to drop the S, but Toxic Waters, who is five for five. Um, of course, spinning post was important because she's a Philly, but Suave is doing fan, uh, fine. We're about to retire Frugal Lark. We're okay. I mean, I have some breathing room, so I ah, can't do it anymore with her. I've tried. She is too spicy for me. Shout out to Abigail's. Too spicy. Shame on me, as always. Major Divers here. Even Fan is here. On a Saint Deep Wonder, Crimson Page. Pretty stacked field for like mid range horses, but. Um, they're not giving us any real love here today. They're saying we're going to finish like 8th or ninth. Take a little disrespect to that. But she is in the green, so I understand. She's not a, not at 100%. But Swab is still a tough horse, and I think if I run her right, and I stay focused here, which, skip all this. Let's just get to the race. Let's focus up here for the China Cup. Let's see if we can get Swab in a good position to have a good stretch run, because that's what I've been messing up with her. Just need to give her a good stretch run and we have a chance. Now, I would love to keep her to... What do you mean, what am I doing? I'm doing nothing, bro. Relax. I could be out on a beach minding my business with my shades on and just kicking my feet up and hear that voice out of nowhere. Hey, what are you doing? Like, I'm relaxing. <laughs> nothing is going on. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, come on, dude. I really want this. Is the inside open? If it is, I'm sending her. But I don't know if it's. I don't know if it's open. Let me test it. Ooh, it is open. Okay, we have a chance. This gives us a chance. If the rail is open like this, we certainly have a chance, and I will take advantage of it. You best believe. I'm actually surprised they've left the rail open because if they're not already this close to the rail, they're not going to move over to the right here. They. That's a weird thing they don't do. So I'm going to have to get her rolling now. Catch him off guard, Swav. Come on. She's running. Swav is running. I can't tell if we're stuck or if this horse is just in our is is just taking off on us. But maybe this horse is actually taking... No, I, I can't tell. Can't tell if we were blocked or if that horse was just still staying strong. We may have finished 8th, literally. 7th. <laughs> Well, I think we finished higher than what we were supposed to by a position. No, we finished exactly 7th and 7th. Wow. Well, that's still a deep... That's an okay effort for a horse that wasn't at 100%, which tells you if we were at 100%, probably could have won that race. Probably could have. So, we'll take it. Yeah, we usually do better at that race, but... um. Still not 100% zoned in with the girls. Well, spinning post is a done deal. And Suave, you know, she wasn't 100%. So. Last race with Frugal Lark in the Tokyo Cup.
Hey, as long as I give her decent odds, I'm fine with that. Major River is the favorite. Shocker. I almost forgot she existed. Bionic Club is here. That's who I'm putting my money on. Actually, I might as well bet. Even though there's no reason to whatsoever. Because we're reach. Crap, which number is Bionic Club? 10. Yep, I'm just going to bet a crap ton on Bionic Club. Which is only like this. Because you can't like duplicate tickets. Or can you? Can I just place this ticket like a bazillion times? <laughs> Oops. Oh, I can. I'm only going to do it twice. I'm not going to waste you guys' time. More than I already have. Let's get into it. And last race of the year to close out. Could be the last race for Frugal, too. I mean, I still wanted to get her that Sprint Champ title, but that's going to take her halfway into next year, which means she'll miss breeding season. I really don't want to do that, to be honest with you. In fact, retiring her and, you know, letting Spinning Post go would actually be really good. Spinning Post, we just can't work with, and that's fine. Frugal Arc, she's really done what I've needed her to do, and again, we want to use her for breeding. That will free up two spots for us, one for breeding and one for maybe another really strong course in the market, right? So the next year can start off really, really good for us as far as the future. It's kind of where I'm leaning. I think that's the best thing to do. Now, Frugal, we, 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 we got to chill out here a bit. This is not where we like to run. Are there any front runners in this race? I was going to say, please. Hope so. Sometimes when they take a minute to get to the front unusually, it's like, huh, something's fishy. Somebody's leg type doesn't have a triangle towards the front. Like, Cosmic Park, you should be leading. I know you can run as a proceeder, but yeah, you should be leading. Nobody else wants to run ahead of the field except you. Like, whoever's, whoever the jockey is on that horse, get them together, bro. Get them together. Pain, yeah, pain. Get your horse together. All right, sitting good here with Frugal. I think she's in a good rhythm. She's pretty mellowed out. Like, Spinning Post is never like this. I can never just settle her in and then be like, okay, we can do this for, like, the whole majority of the race. Frugal's very easy. I don't have to really touch my controller a whole lot. Spinning Post is constant adjustments. I just, I can't do that. It's not fun for me. All right, now well, this is the dirt, so let's see if she can let's see what she can do. Don't block me. Are you kidding? That horse didn't even need to move, bro. Dig in, Frugal. Gosh, I swear we really would have probably been in a position to win 100% had that not happened because the 10 is going to get by us now. But look at Frugal on the dirt. Look at Frugal on the dirt. This is that's one reason why it's been it's hard for me to really be in the mindset of letting her go. It doesn't matter where I run her, she just she gives it her all, man. She's supposed to finish fifth, she finishes second. Bionic Club did win. Shocker. That's why I bet on the dude. Ten G's, we don't need it, but it's for kicks and giggles. There we go. I wish there was something else we could do with our currency in this game, like customization or something. I know they weren't thinking of that back when this game was made, but like what's the point in having all this money, but like we can't. Once you upgrade and buy everything, you can't do anything with it. It's pointless. One twenty for Toxic Waters. He should get a two-year-old award. Let's verify. He doesn't. They give it to Native Art. Cause okay, World J. Okay, well, respectable World J. Uh, J. Cup. That's a big race. Did I? I must have skipped that for Toxic. That would have been a great race to run him in as a two-year-old. I, I wasn't even thinking. Well, a year of no awards. That's kind of depressing. <laughs> oh, it's all good, though. It's all good. Dream Cup Series. Uh, I'm skipping this year. I'm actually skipping it for once. I really shouldn't have even ran it the other years. Like, we weren't going to win with those horses. Twin Sun, though. He's ready to go. Um, Twin Sun is from... Do I put him in my notes? Why don't I have these horses in my notes? Twin Sun. He is, um... From Mad Courage and Honeybee, right? Oh, neither of them really had, like, Tack Tack. Honeybee had the yellow. I think Twin Sun definitely got to give him... Orange and yellow, I think, would be a cool mix. Uh, we'll keep him without the blinkers. Give him a Shadow Roll. I think... Orange looks so weird in this game to me. Do yellow with the orange bandages? 
I think that would look nice. Um, I don't. I'm not gonna give him the all fours. Wait, he actually has two like mid range socks on his right front and uh, left rear, or right rear, excuse me. Um, legs. So I wish you could do tack on like the opposite sides. You know, like we can only do tack front, back, full. Like, why wouldn't you give us the other angles of, like, uh, whatever. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to do something different with him. Yellow Shadow Roll, orange. Uh, I feel like we've had several horses with the yellow Shadow Roll. Let's actually give him the orange. Like, what other color? Are red? Red and then orange and yellow. I'm really just trying to make him the colors of the sun, you know? <laughs> I'm just going to stick with it. <laughs> oh gosh, that felt like a second grade experiment. You know, I shouldn't be doing this, but I'm going to do it because I want to see how he looks before he hits the track. And like, if I do in trust training, they'll skip through all that, so... My one time I'm doing manual training, I'm going to try not to get a 60, but it's probably going to happen. See, red shadow roll, orange and yellow. Well, the red shadow roll kind of blends in for him, but I, the orange and yellow bandages, I think, make him stick out from afar. He's actually exactly how I wanted him to look. It's similar to how I, we kind of did Honeybee, you know? That was really what I was thinking. I'm like, I know he's going to be a faster version of Honeybee, so... I wanted his tack to kind of mirror hers in a way. Ah. It's going to be a 68. 55. 57. Yep. Well, I just wanted to see how he looked. It was worth it. He looks sweet. He looks awesome. Twin Sun's going to be a blast, guys. Wait. Just, wait. just you wait. He is going to be fun. Mad Courage... Still, um, I mean, this will be his first foal, really. Because then we have Lightning Flash as well back there. So that'll actually be Mad Courage's first foal, now I think about it. And Toxic Waters is a rank to kick off the year. Stamina getting stronger, speed getting stronger, still undefeated is Toxic Waters. Um, yeah, Spinning Post, no hate, no hate. You are a beautiful girl. I wish we could work, but, like... Your stats are just doing nothing for me right now. And I just, I don't have the patience. We don't have the patience or the time. Goodbye, spinning post. It's been real, question mark. Swab is unwell. We've been racing her a lot, so we'll give her uh, a layoff. You know, she's done. She, We haven't won with her in a while, to be honest. I, I need to change that. Gosh, our last win with her was the London Crown. She's been 3rd, 6th, 10th. Gotta start winning with her. I wonder if I just need to... Do I need to put her in easier races? Yeah, you know, all these races are really tough. And granted, I think she's a strong enough horse to compete in them. But I probably need to be running her in easier grade ones if I'm trying to at least get her a title. So, I think for our 4-year-old campaign, we'll keep her in the easier grade ones until I feel like we can maybe move up. Because I... Ran her in all those races last year. Her stats have actually dropped a bit, so we can't get away with doing that again. Frugal Arc. I, I mean, look, th this is th sustained. Like, she's seven years old, still with 94 guts. That means sh this she doesn't get tired of running and competing. She is like, she will always stay competitive. I, it's so hard to just be like, yeah, I'm going to retire her now. You know? Let me save. Let me save and, and think about this. Oh, but it's like we could get a foal from her now, like in a couple of months, you know, if I retire her now. And that, that expedites things even further, right? And even quicker, I should say. As opposed to waiting like another two years on top of that or whatever. Uh, well, technically another year, but still. And all time goes in this game. Um... Well, let's look at she was in the market first. I re I'm really thinking this. Like, uh, I'm just, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm attached because of just, it's so fun to work with her, but like, we're not gaining anything additional. We'll be stacking grade ones. She's got to get 20, though. Does she still really not have 20? I'm going to look in the market again, but hold on. 
She really doesn't have 20. We got to get her a 20th grade one. That that just doesn't even feel right. But that's the goal. We'll keep racing her until she wins her 20th grade one. I hope. I sincerely hope before breeding season. Retiring her with 19, it just does not feel right. So I need to give her two chances. I'm going to run her in that dirt one, and then I'm going to run her... Ugh, in the climax? That's going to be tough, bro. But these on the dirt are going to be even tougher, so... There's nothing else. Ooh, Royal Cup. Could do that again. That would be way easier, actually. I want to give her at least two chances, so I'm going to still put her in this February. Hopefully she recovers quick enough, and then she's ready for the, uh... Is she still in the green? Wait, how long does she take to recover? She ran the Tokyo Cup fourth. Okay. Okay, so it does take her about a full month. Then, yeah, she should be ready. Okay, so she should be ready by the Royal Cup. I'll give her two chances. Try to win her 20th grade one. Gosh. Desperately need that. Toxic Waters, I think, will probably keep you warmed up with some grade twos and grade threes. Not really in a rush to run him that often, to be honest. When I'm in this grade two in Tampa, I think that's a good test. Top three go to these LA Cup. It's perfect for his three year old campaign. Swab will just let her rest. Now let's look at the market. Okay, I get a couple more races with Frugal. I need to get that 20th. Granted, I still think it makes more logistic sense to actually retire her, even if I don't get the 20. But just retiring her with 19 is just like, what happened, bro? I just, I, I feel like that would bother me. I don't know if that makes me weird or not. It. It's a, it's an OCD thing. At nineteen twenty, does it really matter? I don't think Galp Racer gives you like an extra hundred plus points for breeding if you get twenty over nineteen. I really don't. Nobody's proven that it does. I've seen nothing that suggests it does. Galp Racer is random half the time, literally, just throwing the fate of our horses and our careers in this game just into kind of a random generator and saying, "Well, here's your outcome." Rare emeralds here. Hmm. Rare Emerald's a good dude, man. The name is sick, for one, and pretty strong in the important cat. Bad Guts rating. Ugh. I mean, your stats are good enough to not make that a problem, but, like, at the same time, what happens in head-to-heads? Social Brain? Better Guts rating. You're feeling temper are awful. Oh, y'all don't have anything to offer me, man. Electric Arrow, are you a gem that I would like? Ooh, good guts, health response, can race him a lot. Sustain, Proceeder, great on both surfaces. I like his coloring, too. I don't feel like we have... We don't have a single stud back there that looks like him at all. 81 speed and already sustained 60 stam. Power rating's not great either, but those stats are average. Grit, close race, okay and tough. I kind of like this horse. We don't really need another cold, but something different. Capital Flame, a 93 speed Philly, but terrible power. I, I can't get Phillies again with bad power ratings, and she has no stats. Uh, no uh, abilities, excuse me. We have fast Phillies. I'm not worried about that. All right, um... I think I'm going to get Electric Arrow. Crazy Monster? What's your deal? 12 Guts? You have... N okay. So the second a horse gets looks you in the eye, you're done. Now, local winner. Golly. That's speed, man. Those red bars, seeing that for speed and staying. Your Guts is blah. Response is really good. Early growth type, though. You just peak with that with no abilities. Waste of time. Uh, yeah, sorry. Not doing that. All right. Um, yeah, I'm going to get Electric Arrow. We're, we're going to go ahead and do this for sure. Kind of excited. Um, either way, I, I'm going to retire Frugal before breeding. We, we got to get a fall with her this year, right? We have to. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go ahead and save. I don't know if I'm going to do Social Brainy or Mad Courage. Uh, I know Social Brainy and... Frugal would probably give us like the super super quality type of horse, but Mad Courage with with the Frugal type, I mean that speed would be. Let's actually go look. I don't know what to do. Pay 
Paracosm would be fun, but I mean, that's not going to give us our best horse, you know. He's bees all the way around, too. Like, we'll do breeding with him one year when we have the space and we want to, like, get it done. Um, Vivid Legend is still here, but his stats whatever. Social Brandy is A's. Hmm. It's kind of tough. Because Mad Courage has D's and C's. Social only has, like, one D and one C. Like I said, I think we'll get a stronger quality horse with Social Brandy just because he doesn't have, like, terrible stats except for the breaking. Response isn't good. Health being C is whatever. But everything else is A, very consistent. And Mad Courage, I mean, he doesn't have a good guts rating or power rating. Frugal does, though, so that would balance out. And then the speed. Temper and feel aren't great. Uh, it's kind of tough, man. I'm not going to lie. Um, early growth type with Mad Courage. And then Social Brandy is sustained. Well... Maybe Mad Courage? You know? I mean, if that horse is going to peak quickly, we can... Uh, obviously, we'll probably replace Crimson. Uh, I want to keep Paracosm until we use him at least once. We'll probably replace Crimson. Or Vivid. Vivid hasn't... I don't know if Vivid's really succeeded. I think Crimson's done a lot better for us, you know? I don't think Vivid has been as good for us in this game. Breeding wise, like I, he was an awesome horse to ride with, but I don't feel like the foals have really turned out as great. So actually, I'd probably replace Vivid Legend first. Crimson Art, I think, just always gives us reliable foals as long as we breed them with a really strong brood mare. So probably get rid of Vivid Legend for whoever that Mare Courage and Frugal Lark foal would be. Especially, I'm assuming it'll be a cult. If it's a Philly, different story. If it's a cult, though, replace Vivid Legend. And, um,. That horse could even be stronger than Mad Courage and Social Brandy. That's the thing, you know. <laughs> so, um, I think that's what we do. Like, I would like to do Social Brandy just because, I, f I mean, we're going to get a horse with great uh, great endurance, a sustained growth type. But do we want to wait that long to get to that point with that horse? Or do we want to try to get a horse equally as good, maybe even a little bit faster, obviously, with Mad Courage? And then if that horse has an earlier growth type, I mean, if it's a cult, again, we can retire him sooner and then start using him to give us even better horses, you know? We can kind of, to be honest, we can skip over using Social Brandy a lot. It's kind of, I'm trying to, like, leapfrog over our horses to get better horses, right? So, I think Mad Courage and Frugal Lark will give us a better chance at getting a horse better than everybody here, if it's a stud, for sure. I mean, if it's a cult, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. Uh, she just look at the foals. Foal. It's only one back here now. Just lightning flash. Five star finesse. Fantastic. From Mad Courage. Out of catch this gal. Yeah, Mad Courage is more busier than I thought. I genuinely thought I was going to use Social Brandy a lot more, but I. Yeah, I don't know. Granted, Toxic Waters is fantastic from Social Brandy, so it's. Yeah, I don't know, man. Social Brandy and. If Social Brandy used to pull have given us this Toxic Waters horse then a social brandy and frugal lark should be even stronger and that's what i'm saying ah it's really tough we might need to try social brandy again we've gotten two from mad courage maybe i give social brandy and frugal a shot that should just be a really powerful horse and then we'll try mad courage later we want to get some balance but electric arrow welcome to the fam i've never raced with you you're beautiful let's see what you got run you into grade three all right so, I believe that's what we'll do next time out, because um, we got a lot of racing to do. Got to try to get Frugal Lark 20th grade one win. She's only going to have two chances. If I don't do it, we'll retire her. I think I'm going to breed her in Social Brandy, um, just because we've already gotten two from Mad Courage that'll be coming out and hit, hitting the track. Only one from Social Brandy, which is Toxic Waters that we're racing with now. And, of course, I'm not interested in really using anybody else. But I just, I feel like Mad Courage with the response rating and the speed, man, that would give us, that type of horse with frugal stats would be fantastic. But I do wonder, though, since the stamina is bad, that would, if I'm trying to get a super horse with the same stamina as Toxic Waters has, then I have to use Social Brandy since he has A and Mad Courage only has C. 
that's the thing with mad cards i really have to think about making sprinters which means like i'm only going to be running these horses under probably what 10 furlongs 10 furlongs at the highest they'll be you know eight furlongs six seven in that area so mad courage i need to keep that in mind so i think social brandy makes the most sense should be good i mean i guess the toxic waters looks amazing so far so i think that's what we'll do appreciate you guys much love and support as always and um i don't know what will be next another 2003 episode or back in 2004 because um I don't know if I explained it, but yeah, I just want to get back in that game. I just feel like when I'm off of that game, it kind of throws my momentum off for the channel and just my upload schedule. So I feel like I can't really take a break of just doing, I'm not, not doing 2004, not for too long. I think it's almost been a month and a half, maybe at this point, um, since I last played. So that's quite a long time. So I want to get back into that game. And we'll live stream, of course, when we can. My work schedule is just unpredictable. That's why it's harder for me to live stream at this point uh, now. So I don't want to keep you guys from 2004 content. So that'll probably be back very, very, very soon. Appreciate you guys for your love and support. As always, until next time, we're free. Signing out. I'll be a grand fantastic day. I'll see you later. Goodbye.